everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the five luxury jewelry pieces under $1,000. Keep in mind, this is going to be, you know, luxury designer houses. So if you're looking for more bang for your buck, you should probably go to a jeweler or maybe uh, department stores that sells jewelry. These are obviously going to be priced higher than potentially the same metal, same diamond quality as its counterpart but you're paying for the brand the history and, and of course it being a luxury item definitely keep that in mind when looking through this video and of course this is just my opinion i'm not going to discuss any fashion jewelry because i personally don't recommend that and i would never talk about something on my channel that i personally wouldn't purchase because i think why am I recommending something that I actually wouldn't purchase? So I'm sticking to fine jewelry. I prefer fine jewelry. I'm not into fashion jewelry. I did try choosing different luxury jewelry houses for different pieces of jewelry. So I did try to make sure that I had like a bracelet, a ring, necklace, earrings, and then each one from a different house as well. Just in case you're trying to explore different brands or if you're just starting your jewelry collection and want to maybe buy something, but obviously you don't want to get something that's super expensive yet because you don't know if maybe jewelry is your thing or if you even like the brand itself. So I think these are great starter pieces. And as always, this is just my opinion. So it's just for fun, nothing too serious. Definitely comment down below your favorite items under $1,000 if you happen to have a different one in mind. Um, but before we start, I did want to let you guys know that I am opening up a giveaway. It will be a Louis Vuitton key pouch and monogram it will look like this and it is all beautifully wrapped um i told them to gift wrap it i haven't opened it so it will look like this and i will have the formal deadline down below but details to enter are follow me on youtube follow me on instagram and also comment down below your favorite jewelry item it could be luxe or non-luxe or your favorite uh, wish list item that you're trying to obtain. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The first item, and we will be going from lowest to highest in terms of price, and I would also say this is probably a lower tier in comparison to the other brands that I would be mentioning, but I do have two pieces from them. I had three, I did end up selling one of them, but it is the David Yearman, and I, I decided to choose because I think it's actually a very cute ring, the double crossover ring. So that ranges in price from $295 to I believe $700. So you can get them with diamonds, without diamonds, um, gold, or just silver. David Yearman's known for their cable bracelets or their cable look, and they also specialize in sterling silver. So they do offer gold options but what i feel like most people purchase from this jewelry house is their sterling silver pieces and they do offer free cleaning so i actually just got this is one of the rings that i own from them and this is sterling silver with pave diamonds it is so gorgeous i'm actually selling this one because since having these rings i haven't used this in over a year but it's so pretty the light when it's up against the lights the diamonds just pop I, I don't know how to explain it it's just something that is really hard to capture like in video or even in picture but one of my favorite things when i purchased this ring i think about like two three years ago now was that i love how it glistens in the light i think the diamonds are just so pretty and the band is sterling silver i actually just got it clean from david yearman also i do the, the necklace that i wear pretty much every video is also from david yearman it's 18 karat gold with diamonds as well and it's just very, very pretty. I love their stuff. I think it's a really great starter piece for someone that's looking into getting more comfortable wearing jewelry or fine jewelry. And I personally definitely recommend that as like a starter piece, especially for younger girls. It's a really good brand in my opinion. And I think they have a really good range of pricing between their jewelry pieces. So they have stuff, you know, like I said, like that can range from like 295, I, I would think probably even lower all the way up into the thousands. It's a really good wide range if you, you know, have a, maybe a smaller budget or, you know, you're not really sure yet. I think it's definitely just a brand to look into and possibly try on in person. The next piece we'll be talking about and one of my favorite jewelry houses is the Cartier Trinity Cord Bracelet and that retails for $580. Now, one of the reasons why I love this and I think this is a great starter piece is that the cord is 
free of charge. You can change it as many times as you want to various different colors that they offer in store. I think if you live near Cartier, this is such a great deal and such great value for what you're paying because the cord will never get ruined if you're consistently changing it. So you always have a brand new cord and you can choose from like red, blue, pink, black, gray, green, any color you want. Or I think there's like a bunch that they offer and you could free your chart as many times you want. There's no limit on it. So really the wear on that I would say is very minimal. I mean, the only thing that's going to get damaged, but that's with any of, you know, their jewelry is the actual Trinity, um, I also say it's like a ring set. So the Trinity collection has all three metal colors that Cartier offers. So it has the white gold, rose gold, and yellow gold, and they're all tangled within each other. And they make this really pretty um, like interlocking circular. Um, and I'll put the picture up there just to give you better detail. But it is very, very pretty. I think it stacks well with other Cartier pieces and like I said it's something that you could have for a very long time because you can constantly change the cords out you can end up gifting it to maybe your children's or family member one day one of the reasons that I love it is because the wear is almost non-existent in terms of you can change the cord to a brand new one all the time so you don't have to worry about that the only thing that's really going to get damaged is the the trinity metal part of it so like the actual design of the bracelets so not the core version but the actual metal part which i'll put again put a picture over here and that can easily get cleaned out or polished so definitely recommend looking into that as a starter piece because you can really make it to your style and customize it the next piece i'll be talking about is the tiffany co diamond by the yards again this also varies in pricing based on the carat weight used or the metal so you can have 18 karat gold or in, or you can have sterling silver options as well. So the piece I was looking at retailed for $700 and $750. One of the reasons I picked this from Tiffany & Co because I love how you can customize the diamond carat weight. So, you know, if you want a smaller one or bigger one and also the metal option so you can have sterling silver or uh, 18 karat gold. And they do offer in like a pink sapphire, a diamond, and a blue sapphire as well i believe um so the very it's a lot more customizable i love how it can be dainty or you can make it a little bigger and, and it kind of really be a standalone necklace but i think they're really great layering pieces i think why i didn't pick the cartier version because it's less customizable um it's more expensive i thought tiffany's would be a better fit for this type of necklace because they do offer more flexibility in how you want to customize it. Keep in mind that Tiffany's, like David Yearman, also carries sterling silver, so they do have lots of pieces that are under uh, the $700 threshold as well. This one, I just wanted to, I was trying to find something in here um, because I did want to touch on this brand, but this brand is very, very expensive in terms of if you even want to purchase something in this brand, it's kind of more upwards of a thousand, but I was able to find the Van Cleef and R. Paul's Perle ring. I might be pronouncing that wrong. And that retails for $700. Now, do I think that's worth it? It might, it's probably a great second piece. I haven't tried it on in person, but again, I did want to just show and offer if you guys you know, were looking to Van Cleef and R. Paul's, that that's a, probably the only piece that I found, unless I just, accidentally like missed something but the only piece i could really find under a thousand dollars was this ring and it's if you've seen the pearly design it's kind of like little circles or little bumps and i'll put a picture right here but it's a very very simple ring and i i think it would make a great stacking ring but again um, i think there's some better options for that price point so that was just something I wanted to put in there because I did want to show something from this jewelry house, but uh, just to purchase something from here, it's very expensive just to even get the smallest and the most simplest thing. Last item I'm going to mention, and this was such a surprise, and I feel like it's, it's a really, really good pricing for um, it being a luxury, you know, jewelry house and a fine jewelry luxury house that 
I found the Bulgari, and I think I'm pronouncing this wrong, but I don't know if it's actually pronounced Bulgari, but that's just how I pronounce it, earrings. And they have a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different stones, so it just has like, and I'll put them up here, but they have Mother Pearl, I think Onyx, and they are $800. Now, when I look at the Van Cleef Sweet earrings in Mother Pearl, they're, I believe, like upwards of $2,000. And I feel like most jewelry brands that offer earrings are usually upwards of a thousand. So to find these under a thousand, them being a luxury jewelry house and them having really pretty stones and they kind of offer a variety of stones that you can choose from from that price range, I think that's such a good price point for what they are. And I know not a lot of people purchase Bulgari, but I think they have really nice designs. Um, I actually kind of want to see these in person because I was actually so surprised at how well priced they were for being a luxury fashion house i think and maybe because i was comparing them to van cleef and just how expensive their earrings were for what you're getting that i think you know this is something that maybe to look into if you are you know wanting to start your jewelry collection if you do like earrings if you want something that's again i say reasonably priced in terms of what we are talking about here but i think it is reasonably priced i don't think um i know tiffany's david urine might have some obviously earrings but I think if you're I would consider Bulgari um, above those two fashion houses so I think it's a great piece and I definitely oh, obviously look at it in the store maybe maybe it's really small but that's something that when I saw that I was like I actually want to go see that in person because it might actually be really worth the money so definitely um, I would say that was my biggest surprise off this list and I don't feel like a lot of people talk about Bulgari when it comes to jewelry I think it's mainly just Cartier and Van Cleef so you know, something to look into, something to look at, you know, see their design, see if you gravitate toward anything that they come out with, because I think it is also a very respectable uh, jewelry house when it comes to fine jewelry and luxury fine jewelry. Okay, guys, so those are the five luxury jewelry pieces under under $1,000. Like I said, if you, you know, have a different option that you love and that it is under $1,000, definitely comment down below definitely enter the giveaway and i will see you guys very very soon in my next video bye